Hello, wonderful. It is Sarah, and I'm here to talk about how to survive Valentine's Day. So many times things are really tough, especially around the holiday. Toxic people tend to ruin holidays. Sometimes people call Valentine's Day Singles Awareness Day because it can feel really yucky to feel like there's a world made for two and you were only one. Okay. And so I want to give you some tips and tricks and strategies to survive Valentine's Day so you don't get sucked in Valentine's Day. Okay. So one of the most important things I want to tell you is it is just one day a year. Okay. And some of you may need to write down Valentine's is just one day. Valentine's is just one day. Okay. Because sometimes we can put so much pressure on ourselves. And think, well, you know, maybe he reaches out. Somebody who you have broken up with, pushed away, they reach out and try to be friendly with you. They make you, they want you to forget everything bad that's happened. And so you just like, oh, okay, okay. And uh, get sucked back in. Okay. It's a little song. I do, Valentine's Day is just one day. 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 I do not want you to use a day meant for love to get sucked back in to someone who was not loving to you. Okay. So there's a great little song that I sing. Do I want to ruin my life? No, no. Do I want to ruin my life? Heck no, I don't. Heck no, I don't. Heck no, I don't. Do I want to ruin my life? Heck no, I don't. Okay? It's ridiculous and silly, and that's part of why. Because it seems you, re you realize how silly you are being, thinking, oh, well, it's Valentine's Day and I'm alone. So they're probably going to act different. It's Valentine's Day and I'm alone. So they're probably a whole different person. It's Valentine's Day and I'm alone. So I'm going to give them one more chance, even though they've proven who they are 1,500 times. Do I want to ruin my life? No, no. Do I want to ruin my life? Heck no, I don't. Okay? Don't ruin your life. Valentine's is just one day. Okay? Also, that's my first tip. My second tip is put something on your calendar. Put something on your calendar. One of the greatest dangers is like a whole day, especially sometimes Sundays are tough for people because they are so much more relaxed, which in some ways is wonderful and amazing, and in some ways is really difficult, okay, because we have all this space to fill, and the pain can sit in, and the memories, and the loneliness, and do you need space and quiet? to process those things? Yes, absolutely, of course. And I don't want you to use Valentine's Day as a day to process long-term in a dangerous way by yourself if there's any chance he's going to reach back out to you and um, suck you back in and then the drama is gonna start all over again, okay? So you want to have something on your calendar, some type of anchor, okay? In the morning, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this, and then for eat, dinner that evening, I'm going to do this. If you have someone else who is um, lonely or going through something or in the same life situation you are, definitely connect with them. Don't try to do it alone. I want to be so very clear. No one who is finds success for themselves in any type of avenue, relationship success, um, collegiate success, academic success, professional success, none of those people are doing it on their own. They are not doing it on their own. Okay. Connect with this group. Uh, whatever, just have some type of schedule or some type of plan 
so the black hole doesn't feel so big especially since Valentine's Day is on a Sunday this year and those days tend to be um, you know more empty anyway so you can't really distract yourself with work in the same way or maybe with a kid stuff in the same way okay so tip one Valentine's Day is just one day don't let it tank your whole life tip two fill your calendar do not let there just be a dark hole in your calendar in your space put something on your calendar and write it down here's my to-do list for the day now the to-do list for today could be yoga the to-do list for today could be take a nap the to-do list could be go horseback riding the to-do list could be whatever you want it doesn't have to be productive like you're cleaning out your closets but maybe you do want to clean out your closets i made a joke one day that um with my kids i was going to dedicate my birthday to throwing out stuff and cleaning out the house because uh, if it was my birthday, then I got to do what I wanted and the kids and the family would not complain as much. Then I could say, it's my birthday, I can do what I want. Everybody need to clean out their closets, right? But maybe that's not what I'm talking about here. Um, I'm going to check my phone because your guys' comments never show up. Um, the, uh, but I hope that makes sense. And I'll check the comments and see um, what's going on there because they don't show up on my computer sometimes. Um, oh, hmm, uh, let me go there. Okay, so if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Nobody's commented yet. Perfect. Okay, so the Valentine's Day is just one day, and I have something on your calendar, okay? I also want to invite you to a summit. We are doing, I knew this is going to be a very hard Valentine's Day for so many people, and this Sunday we're doing a book launch event for the Becoming Toxic Person Proof, Clear the Confusion, and Learn to Trust Yourself book launch. And um, that's something you can do and put on your calendar Sunday. And then February 11th through the uh, 15th, which is Galentine's Day, so February 11th through 15th, um, I'm hosting a free online summit with experts on divorce, parenting, relationships, dating, narcissist, emotional abuse, success, dream design, um, all kinds of stuff, okay? I mean, there are over 50 people who have agreed to bring you a free summit to help you get through this weekend and help you find strength and help you not get sucked back into um, to sadness sucked back into another, you know, another round of the toxic behavior. Um, and so I also invite you to that. I highly recommend partnering with a friend and doing it together and making comments. What have you learned? What have you, what do you like? What have you learned? What are you doing? What, who are you becoming? Uh, and having those conversations because we are not meant to be alone. We are not meant to be alone. And Practicing being good at relationships is a great step into practicing being good in romantic relationships. And that we, in our stories, in our songs, sometimes it's like, oh, you are my everything. You are everything to me. You are everything, everything, everything. The people I know in healthy relationships, including myself, that is not the way they think about their spouse or their boyfriend or their girlfriend. Okay. They think you are a wonderful, amazing part of my life, but I'm a whole person outside of you. So learning, becoming better, growing, connecting with a friend, having that conversation about it teaches you how to be a whole person. And I know that I know that I know if you're thinking about dating, you want that guy or that girl to bring a whole version of them into the relationship. You want them to have gotten rid of their baggage, gotten over their issues, healed the stuff with their ex, fixed everything they could. They don't have to be perfect, but you want them to have done some work to bring their best self into the relationship. So this is a fabulous opportunity for you to learn from 50 experts to bring your best self into your next life, into your career, into parenting, into a new relationship, into a beautiful life. Okay. 
So this Valentine's Day, one, you do not expect them to be different. If they have sucked you in and tried to draw you in a thousand times before and promised you things would change, they know you're going to be vulnerable. Valentine's is just one day. Do not let a hallmark holiday, which is really what it is, a hallmark holiday, steal a peaceful March and steal a peaceful end of February and steal a peaceful April. If you've set boundaries, do not get sucked back in. Prepare. They are going to try to, they'll know you're vulnerable. They're going to try to come after you. Okay? That's one. Valentine's is just one day. Two, fill your calendar with something. Do not let it be an empty black hole where you spend the whole day feeling sorry for yourself for going through a breakup or a toxic relationship. A bad, bad, bad strategy. Okay? And three, please uh, hear this invite and enjoy this summit um, to help you fill your calendar and not get sucked back in. There's 50 authors and experts and speakers who have come together to give you uh, the gift of hope this Valentine's Day weekend, of, of hope and help. So you're not alone. You don't have to do it alone. Um, and I hope that helps you have a fabulous Valentine's Day. Also join us at 4 o'clock p.m. There'll be lots more information about that this week. But join us at 4 o'clock p.m. for our book launch, Becoming Toxic Person Proof, Clear the confusion and learn to stress yourself. Hope that helps. Hope you guys have a great day.